Uh, I like throwing out a fun question to start things off. So, Ken, I really want to know, um, when was the last time you actually had to pay for a drink in Japan? I pay. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, if, if I was, I would imagine, though, if you're in a bar and someone sees you or anyone sees you in Japan, they would say, I would like to pay for his drink. <laughs> but let me tell you about, about Ken. He's so low key. You don't know it's Ken Watanabe. When he comes to work and puts on his costume, he becomes the Ken Watanabe you know. But when he leaves work, he puts a hat on, very regular clothes, very regular car, and it's like he is just blending into the Tokyo and you would never know it's Ken Watanabe. Yeah, hiding, hitting. Okay. Um, I love learning about the behind the scenes of the making of, uh, of shows and movies. For both of you, I know there must be so much to talk about with this one, but what do you think soon to be fans of this series would uh, be surprised to learn about the making of it? You know, just first time to heard about this project from JT and Rogers, and then uh, cops versus gangs. Mm, it's a usual story and they're bowling something, but Good point of uh, this young, uh, news, uh, young newspaper writer from United States to getting the under, underground to meet the cops and gangs. It's really interesting. Then one more thing is uh, 1990 is a big change of a society. It's analog to digital, just no technology, just feeling of people, and the uh, atmosphere of a society and the uh, really chaos. Then uh, JT Rogers has uh, wrote a great script and then uh, each character has a little bit deep background uh, story of a life. And, uh, you know, just, we need to show the long, long time to sh show about the story. And that's not movie. It's just size is a TV show, but scale is a movie more, I think. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was really cool because actually when we were filming it, you know, it was during COVID. So being like the American fishy out of water there, it was like probably how Jake felt in the 90s because now obviously uh, it's, you know, the tourism there is crazy and uh, I feel like the culture in a way has become more and more westernized slowly but surely but in the 90s it was a little more just strictly Japanese but because of COVID it almost was like you know turning back the clock because there was almost like I really felt like wow like I'm one of the only guys around here who's not like a real someone who belongs in Tokyo uh, so that aspect of it almost like really helped me more get immersed into the character into the world um you know help me with the language and all all of us felt like wow this is really special that we're here right now i love learning about like hard scenes to film or takes that were really rough because of camera moves or whatever so for each of you what was a scene or sequence in the making of this show that really stood out for you in terms of challenging or was just a real pain to do you know he tried too hard to learning in Japanese language. I think it's the uh, most difficult language in the world is the learning Japanese. Then he tried too hard. Then uh, he learning uh, just not language, it's just culture and uh, atmosphere, so everything he, need, he wanted to try. Then some sequence, he wanted to try to Japanese dialogue. And uh, I also organize about the uh, Japanese dialogue and uh, I connect to the ex-cops, ex-newspaper uh, writer, uh, ex-gangs, uh, a little bit scary. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, whole, whole dialogue, I checked the Japanese. Then uh, he tried to uh, sequence it in Japanese and all we hustle, I listen about that. Mm, it's not good. 
um, <laughs> we need to back to English. And uh, yeah, we, we had a good relationship, but really honestly. And then uh, I, I tell him, and then uh, we need to back to the English. And then uh, back and forth English and Japanese is a really usual thing. It's uh, different countries, people uh, connecting, a relation, has a relationship. And it's just real. Yeah, it's a really enjoying. Yeah, I remember we did the, that scene where we're sitting at the at on your car, and I say we got a the hikoki ikibun no shabu de kokai is skimas right ashita, and you that was what you said. Do it in English, don't do it Japanese. But when we filming, I kept doing it in Japanese because the scene was a scene where Jake is disobeying Katagiri. And it kind of, it created an interesting dynamic because we did have a very honest relationship. And it was funny for Ken to say, I don't know, your Japanese is not too good. <laughs> and then I would do it in Japanese. And then eventually he went, remember? And that was a really good take. <laughs> um, what this, this is my last thing uh, with COVID is obviously COVID the worst thing that's ever happened to this planet it's terrible but it has been beneficial for productions because you allowed you had more time to um, prepare like you know to work on scripts to prepare dialects to to get ready for the the, uh, the the production so for both of you how did the COVID shutdown because you filmed for five six days how did that actually help make the series better yeah Half a year delay of a half year schedule, schedule of half a year, and then uh, I turn off the switch, but still get in the key. You know, just but we start of the shooting is so tough, and uh, three days each PCL check, and then uh, we need to zoning of a you know, actor, wardrobe, hair make, and uh, what art direct art session or something. And uh, we could not speak some loads of uh, different zoning people. Then I also didn't meet the other people outside of a set. Just focus on the character. It's just good, yeah. Yeah, all the restaurants were closing at 8 p.m. So you yeah. kind of had to go home and no alcohol. study. <laughs> yeah, no, they, you, they stopped serving alcohol. And then also the shutdown was great for me because then I got to, you know, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't too good at Japanese at first. I mean, I still, you know, was good enough. But it was like, you know, we got shut down and then we had a whole nother prep period, like two or three months again where I started taking Japanese class for the pilot again. So that, that was really helpful because then I could prepare for the pilot and for next episodes. Um, so in a way the shutdown was actually a blessing in disguise for just, you know, Michael Mann was like, great, we get to do a whole prep period over again and let's, you know, then you can get even better at Japanese. And while I was in America, I was doing Zoom sessions with uh, my Japanese sensei. Yeah, it paid off, thank you so much guys. Yeah. Thank you. Seriously, Seriously thanks.